morning, Friday morning, it's about 20 to 7. Just got this one up on the pad ready to wash off. A local uh, chap there, he's into his masses. Nice little, uh, little one there. Oh, that's better. That nearly an hour to wash that off. I'm a bit, feeling a bit damp. Yeah. Anyway, that's clean. Let's go have a cup of tea. Well, we've just spent a bit of time on this. We've got the reductions filled up with gear oil and filled up the, uh, the main casting with oil. So hopefully that one's done. We're going to get outside and get it shot blasted now. I have been around with a spanner on all of these bolts and it's surprising since it was put together, things have obviously settled, how much more they tightened up. So uh, yeah, we've got the uh, hole sorted there with a bit of paper towel. So we'll get outside and give it a blast off and hopefully we can get some primer on it and then we can get this painted and out of here, out the way. That's looking a bit cleaner. So we'll uh, get some primer mixed up and get on that. Hopefully we can get the grey on as well today. And that'll be a tidy little job done. It's come on quite nicely. Well, making the most of the weather. That's two good coats of primer on that. And that's looking a damn sight better now than it did this morning. Pleased with that. Hopefully that'll be dried off enough later. We can get that painted great. And uh, yeah, you can then sit inside and dry off overnight. Come up well. Massey Ferguson 1250, front axle, completely stripped and rebuilt. In the meantime, while we're waiting for paint to dry, got something from him next door, a mower to repair. A wee little hole here, got the rust of it. So I have fabricated a bit of a plate, a little bit more settling with one of my numerous hammers. We'll get that to fit in there, rivet it down, and then make a bit of gaffer tape over it. So I kind of bent it to shape. So a little bit more fettling, we'll get that to fit. And I'll sharpen the blades up and hopefully send it on its way. You should be happy then. Well, there we have it. It's all painted grey. It's not the funny light today. But there we go. That's the front axle done. That's a good shout today. Shot blasted, primed and painted. At least when it's dry. So you just got to break slow soon just to get sorted out to go on there. That can be put out the way. Let's go and find something else. had a delivery. Slave turns I sent off for that axle and a back one. They've been sorted out, cleaned up, bored out, sleeved, like brand new. All four of them. Happy days, right? We can get these uh, these primed up, get some grey on them, ready to go back on the axle. That's happy Fridays. Uh, just enough grey paint left over from doing the axle. So we got these uh, primed and painted up, ready for seals. Well, the main oil seals, obviously new pistons and seals and that are already done. I ain't worried about painting on this because it's going to be shot blasted and cleaned anyway. So it's just a handy place to put them. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy. I'm a happy bunny and hopefully the customer will be too. Morning folks, Saturday morning. Where did Friday go? Uh, it's been a bit wet overnight, rather a lot of rain. Anyway, down here um, making gaskets. I'm going to try and get the slave cylinders fitted back on that front axle now. So we've got the seals to put in. And then we get those bolted uh, on. Had some gasket paper. Made some new gaskets for that. Also got the ones over there painted. And we got the boot seals to go in. So we'll go and get those uh, in the press, squashed in. Nice new bolts and washers there. And we can get these put together. See there, I've got it wedged up a bit on one end because the face of this isn't square to the bottom. So I've got it wedged up so that is pretty well square to be able to get the press in there and pop those seals in. Yeah, there's one fitted on. We've got the uh, seal over the rod in the middle, all bolted up. So I'll stop the oil coming out. We can get the boot to go on there and the pin to sit in there. I'll see if I've got uh, a spare one of the arms that's already galvanized to fit on there. Then that's pretty well finished. We can sort the brake pipe out that goes when we've done the other one. So we've got both of those fitted on now. I've been had a route round in my stores and I found a load of other bits in my random spare parts stuff. So we can put all that together, make the link pipe that goes from there to there, put a blanking plug in that one until we yeah, eventually get this one back in the chassis, which won't be for a while. New bleed nipple on there. So I'll get busy with uh, new boots and pipes and levers and things. There we go, like brand new. Springs, levers, just need to find another uh, locking nuts for those. New point put in, bit of copper slip on there, so if you need to get apart another day, 
sure what you see is doing like they usually are. Yeah, one front axle, Massey 1250, job done. So while we're in the mood for doing brakes this morning, I'll do the ones on this dry brake axle, so the 1200. It's there, gasket's cut, new rubbers, because these dry brakes, it's a different seal, it's only a dust cover, all the bolts, bits and pieces. So uh, yeah, we'll get in there, get them fitted on that. Let's get out. So we've got these dry brake sleeve cylinders fitted on, springs, pins, shiny bits. So we've got some pipe here, flaring tool. So we'll make the link pipe to go between there and there. That'll be a good show for this morning. Pleased with that, because we've got that one done. It'll be nearly this one done. One link brake pipe made. All in, split pins, job done. So now we can perhaps think about putting a cross member in here. Perhaps getting the gearbox in. That'll be another lump out the way in this one. Right, we've got the cross member bolted in for the gearbox. So hopefully sometime later this week, we can get a gearbox in, drop it in its hole. Once it's in there, we get the prop shaft in and the other rest of the brake linkage. So yeah, a bit of progress. Right now, folks, hope we're all well. That's a wrap for today. I got a little party to go to this afternoon for a friend's birthday. So uh, yeah. Like um, welcome new subscribers, thank you very much. Click the old like and subscribe as usual if you like what you see, what we do. Uh, comments and that, and we'll get back to you. So enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll catch you on uh, Tuesday. So go steady. Layers. <laughs>